Hello and welcome to the Stephen Mendes channel. Thanks for watching. Today we have a bell patch for you on the dot com synthesizer. Let's hear it first of all. Okay, now let's document it for you so you can set it up on your own. This patch only uses nine modules, so you should be able to uh, get it set up even if you don't have a large system. So let's take it in order. First of all, we go from the output to the input. We could always do it the other way around, but let's start with the output. Here now we have the amplifier here. We are using one of the amplifiers as you can see. We have the output coming out there with that black cable that's going to the sound system. Then we have three other things going into the amplifier. Of course we've got the signal which is going in on uh, input one. Then we've got the as you can see we're using control input 1 and control input 2 we've got an orange cable into control input 1 and that's going to our LFO++ module and we've got a red cable going into control input 2 and that's going uh, to the output of our envelope generator the control number 1 level on the amplifier is set to 2 Two. The signal input 1 is coming from the output of our mixer, our 4 channel mixer. And we've got three things coming into our 4 channel mixer. We have a triangle wave, a square wave and some noise. The noise is coming in on the orange cable and the square wave is coming in on the input number two the red cable we have our triangle wave coming out here and the triangle oscillator is set to the 16 foot setting and it's in perfect tune as you can see up there so we have uh, we have the 16 and it's tuned, it's taking its uh, one volt per octave input from the keyboard and the triangle is going to our input one on the oscillator. On our second oscillator now we have it set to the eight foot one octave up and here's where the uh, tuning comes in. We have, as you can see, it's set to 3.9 plus 3.9 on the frequency setting here of our square wave oscillator. Our square wave oscillator is registering 3.9 which puts it about uh, 5 semitones above but it's an octave up already so an octave and 5 semitones above the, um, the, the triangle oscillator. Also, the 1 volt per octave is plugged into our keyboard and the square wave output, as I said, is going to our mixer. The noise as usual, the output is set to maximum and we're taking the output from the white noise connector. On the 4 channel mixer, on the 4 channel mixer, the Triangle wave is set to 10, the square wave on uh, number 2 is set to 6.3 and on number 3 input we have the noise set to 3.2 3.2 On our LFO++ module we've got it set to lower and we've got the uh, frequency knob set to 8.4 and we have it on the triangle wave as you can see from the switches we have it set to the 5 volt unipolar position 
uh, standard settings because we're not using the envelope. We've got the amplitude up to all because we're regulating the amplitude in the mixer. So that's our LFO settings, which of course you can tune to taste if you're using a different synthesizer. On our envelope generator, we've got the attack set to zero. We've got the decay set to 2.4. We've got the sustain set to zero and the release set to zero. So there it is, folks, the bell patch and it does not use a filter at all there is no filter and there is only one envelope generator controlling the amplitude thanks for watching the Stephen Mendes channel and we'll see you soon again